Well, hey there, friend or friend to be. If we haven't met before, my name is Caitlin. I make easy, simple, delicious, and vegan recipes, and I am so excited to have you here with me today where we discuss, I think, what is mine and many of my friends' biggest meal pain point, lunch. Okay, I am a foodie. It's my job, but I'll be honest, lunch is probably my least favorite meal of the day because you have so much stuff going on and you don't really wanna set aside time to make food for lunch. So either one, you do that, then you're eh about it, or two, you end up eating a bunch of random snacks, probably don't feel that good afterwards, still don't really feel full and satisfied, and then just grumble through the day until it's dinner time. But let me tell you, that can all be the past because today I'm going to share five different real life lunchtime meals that I'm making for myself that I'll take 20-ish minutes, but when we're talking about real hands-on time, I would say probably like 10 minutes or less. So before we get into all these delicious recipes, we gotta give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Thrive Market, yay! I've been using Thrive Market for years. You can look back at my older videos as proof. And I love them because they have all of my favorite products online. The prices are better than the health food store around me. It's convenient and I just love supporting a great company too. So I'll be sharing some of my favorite products from Thrive Market this week in all of my easy lunches. So stay tuned for that. But if you're already ready to go, want to get these savings, click the link in the description below or go to thrivemarket.com slash my bowl and you'll get 40% off of your order plus a free gift. They have two different membership options. You can either pay month to month or you can pay for a year, which means you save more per month. All right, let's get on to day one. Are you hungry? Well, I'm gonna show you what I ate. So it's pretty cold and dreary outside. I'm not really feeling like anything too fresh or springy right now. So we're gonna go the cozy route and I'm gonna make some quick and easy ramen with these items I just got in my Thrive Market order. I'm curious to try out this ramen broth and I love these gluten-free uh, rice ramen noodles. I will say this is ramen. It's probably more like noodle frozen vegetable soup. Definitely not traditional but it's still gonna hit the spot. So to make my ramen, I started by sauteing some green onions and some mushrooms in oil with a little bit of salt. Then once those shrunk down a bit and got a little golden around the edges, I went ahead and added in the ramen broth that I got from Thrive Market. And then I just covered this and brought it to a boil. And once it started boiling, I added in that gluten-free ramen and I cooked it down until the noodles were tender. I made enough soup for both myself and Dylan, so that's why it looks pretty large here. Then at the end, I tossed in some frozen peas and corn and some sliced green portions of the green onions to add a little bit more flavor then I went ahead and transferred it to a bowl and to get myself full longer I also added some smoked tofu that I purchased from the store I just cubed it up and the broth sort of warmed it up and I topped it all off with some sesame oil and it was so creamy and delicious I really like the broth it was really flavorful totally hit the spot on a rainy day and made it even more cozy and comforting I am so excited for it to be spring because it means I get to eat my favorite spring salad, daily bean salad. I posted it on my blog last year. I could honestly eat it every day this week, but variety is the spice of life, so we're just gonna have it today, but it's really easy, let me show you. So I already started putting some of the things in a bowl. We've got some olive oil, some salt, Dijon mustard, and some garlic. Then we're going to add in some lemon juice, about like one to two tablespoons. Then whisk it all up like your life depends on it. Then the rest of the salad comes together thanks to our handy dandy mandolin. Not a lot of chopping required, which is what I love for a quick and easy lunch. So actually, now that I've got my marinade already, I'm gonna go ahead and put in my two cans of cannellini beans. Thinnest setting of the mandolin makes people think that you're pro at cutting things, but really, just pro going back and forth quickly, I guess. Interpret that how you may. So the radishes, I like to um, cut them into strips. So right now I'm just cutting the um, like little rat tails off. I'm just going to slice all my radishes again. Now all I do is stack up the little rounds and then I cut these in two matchsticks and it's like the easiest way to get nice thin sticks. The last step is just to add in some chopped dill and then we mix it all up. The color scheme is giving me 
Aeropostale polos in middle school. Can anyone else relate? And that's about it. I served mine over top of some arugula today, but some days I eat it plain. Sometimes I put it on toast. Sometimes I eat it with sourdough. Today I'm just going to be eating it with some of these einkorn crackers. It's been three seasons since I've had this, so we gotta do a taste test. That is the stuff. If you love dill, if you love pickles, I know there's not pickles in it, but like the lemon juice, the cucumber, the dill, the creamy beans, the crunchy radish, the garlic, it's all here, baby. Plus, can we talk about how it takes maybe 10 minutes to throw together and you could also easily make it for meal prep and just store it in your fridge? It gets even better after it sits for a bit. Hello, so I was working on a new salad recipe for my blog today, sort of inspired by the dilly bean salad that I showed you yesterday, but completely different. This one is a lot more Asian inspired. It's like a smashed cucumber edamame salad. So it's perfectly delicious on its own, but I want something a little bit cozier today. And the great thing about this is you can put it on top of stuff. So I am currently cooking up some of these pad thai brown rice noodles. Um, so while those cook, I'll take you down to my studio because I just filmed this and show you how to make this deliciousness. So this recipe is heavily inspired by Chinese smashed cucumber salad, but just has more stuff added to it. So you're going to trim the ends from some cucumbers and then use your knife to smash them flat and then chop them up a little bit smaller. I like to do about like half inch to one inch pieces. Then you're just going to repeat this with the rest of the cucumbers and transfer them to a sieve or like a colander. And then here we're just going to sprinkle them with a little bit of salt. This helps draws out some of the extra liquid from the cucumbers, give them a good toss and then set this aside for 15 to 20 minutes. You could even do this the night before and just store it in the fridge. We're also going to make the dressing by combining soy sauce, rice vinegar, a little bit of maple syrup for a sweetness, some chili oil and some toasted sesame oil, plus a clove of garlic. So the acidity from the vinegar is going to sort of mellow out the garlic. So it's still going to add like a nice garlicky flavor, but not be too overpowering. Just whisk that set it to the side. This is what the cucumbers look like once they're done. Then you're going to add them into that marinade with the rest of the ingredients. This is just some shelled edamame that's been thawed, plus some thinly sliced green onions and some sesame seeds for a nice crunch. Then basically you just mix everything together and you're good to go. This is what it looks like. You can totally eat it like this, but like I said earlier, I cooked some noodles to have on the side. So now let's go back to the kitchen. So now I'm going to add my noodles to my bowl, put this on top, extra dressing, and then just toss to combine. Okay, I will admit that when it's not styled, it doesn't look like the fanciest thing, but it tastes delicious. And you know, some days that's all that really matters. Hmm, what more could you want? Excuse my dogs barking on the deck if you hear them. This has recently been my quick and easy go-to lunch. We have this toaster oven air fryer combo thing that has like a baking plate and there's a rapid bake function in it. So I've been sort of like pan searing frying tofu on this plate and just throwing it together in a sandwich depending on whatever I have in my fridge. So. That's what we're gonna do today. I've got a block of the super firm tofu. I like this best. I think it gives the best texture. I usually cut this in half the other way, but I think I use this for another uh, recipe. So I'll just make smaller wedges, I guess. Then we've got our baking tray. You could totally make this in the oven too. I just love this because it doesn't get the house hot and it actually cooks faster than an oven. Um, but I'll show you my settings of what I do with the toaster so you could like replicate it at home. And then I'll just place the tofu down. And honestly, most days I just roast the tofu plain. I just put some oil on it, sprinkle salt, and call it a day. But I thought today would be fun. We could get a little creative because I have some leftover vegan pesto from the store. So I thought I would put some on my tofu. A little dollop. I'm just gonna spread it. Very, very informal recipe we've got going on here. And then I'm going to... And then I'm gonna put this in the toaster oven. So these are the settings for it. Though I'd say it gets hotter than the oven. So if you wanted to do this at home, I would have your oven probably at 400 or 410. And I usually only cook it for 20 minutes, but I just keep it on the 30 minute timer. I love tofu. I could honestly eat it every day. I think I do eat it most days. But the other great thing about this sandwich that I love 
is the bread I put it on. I get these everything bagel ciabatta rolls. This one I stuck in the freezer because um, it was about to go bad. So if I have it frozen, I just cook the tofu for the first 10 minutes. And then for the last 10 minutes, I'll separate this with a knife and put it on there too. So then it gets nice and warm. Here is our final tofu. You can still hear the sizzle. Got nice and crisp. And the bread is like warm, but not super crispy, which is how I like it. But you could totally toast it more if you wanted to as well. Got some arugula. It's easy, it's satisfying. Uh oh, Oof, hot. All in all, great lunch. As Rebecca Black would say, it's Friday. The weather is great, I'm excited for the weekend, and today I am making pasta salad, which honestly is one of my favorite spring, summer lunches, just because you can throw it together, it's great for meal prep, you can take it on the go. And there's a million different flavor variations. I have a few on my blog, and today I'm making the Mediterranean one. So I've got a pot, bring it to boil. And I'm going to use this chickpea rotini that I got from Thrive Market. We're also actually going to start by marinating some tofu. It sort of acts as like a feta in this recipe and gives it even more of a protein boost. So I've got half a block of super firm tofu, and I'm going to dice that up. So in this bowl, we've got lemon juice, oregano, salt, Dijon mustard, some garlic, and then we're going to add in some of our Thrive Market extra virgin olive oil. Just give it all a good whisk. Then we can add in our tofu and give this a nice little stir and let this sit while our pasta cooks so it gets nice and marinated. So we've got our tofu here and then while the pasta is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and slice up the rest of our ingredients. We've got some cucumbers some fresh basil, and then I got these artichoke hearts from Thrive Market, plus some sliced Kalamata olives and some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just gonna go ahead and add everything to the tofu now. This way, once the pasta is finished cooking, I can just rinse it with some cold water and then add it in too. Look at all this goodness. We've got some veggies, we've got some protein, we've got some carbs. We're gonna stay full until dinner time, but you also feel like, you know, you could be on a picnic somewhere even if you're just working from home. Sometimes I'll even serve it over arugula or other salad greens, but I'm keeping it simple today. Everything just goes so well together. It's crunchy, it's fresh, you got the salty olives, the creamy olive oil dressing the herby tofu. This is definitely something where you could just make a big batch of at the beginning of the week and then have it every single day too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll set my food down temporarily to say, guess what? We've made it. I showed you five lunches that are totally feasible to make during a work week. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to film more like it, maybe with more of like a theme or repeating ingredients so you can meal prep it rather than just have like inspiration for different ideas, definitely let me know in the comments below because I think that that could be really helpful too. Also a big shout out again to our sponsor, Thrive Market. Make sure you go to thrivemarket.com slash from my bowl or just click the link in the description of this video to get 40% off of your first order plus a free gift value over $50. So I think that's it from me today. Hey, if you're not subscribed yet and you found this video helpful, click that little button right down there so you can see more like it or just go ahead and follow me on social media to see what I'm doing until I post again on here, you know, keep up with me. We can hang out, chat virtually. I don't know. Anyways, hope you're doing well, taking care of yourself. And I look forward to virtually seeing you soon. Bye.